Hi, thanks for joining me. We're gonna um, get started and paint our globe. It's gonna be pretty easy and you're gonna be able to do it. I hope you have an old globe that you can try it on. Um, what you're gonna need is, um, let me move this over here so I can show you. All right. So what I did was I started with one coat, but you're not gonna miss anything because I'm gonna do the second coat exactly the same way that I did the first coat. But due to time constraints, I couldn't you know, paint the coats and let them dry. This is gonna take two coats of paint because you don't want it to be transparent. Um, you want it to be a nice solid color. Now, you can use the paint of your choice, any color you like. If you wanna do turquoise, I'm doing pink. I'm gonna do pink and I'm gonna do gold leaf um, because I have this globe in mind for someone and these colors will work really well for her. Um, so let's get started. What I did was I took my paint. In this case, I'm using uh, Dixie Belle Soft Pink, which is a chalk mineral paint, and the coverage is great. Um, if you were to use like a acrylic paint or something like that, you'd need a lot more coats. So basically, for me, what I did was I just um, went around the continents. Now, I wasn't worried about being perfect. I'm sure I went over a few things that I shouldn't have, but don't worry about it because it's decorative. Nobody's using this globe to, you know, find new land or something. It's just, it's decorative. So do your best. And if you have to go over something, don't worry about it. No one's going to notice. So as you see, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I just outlined it. I missed a bunch of little bodies of water, but nobody's got time for that. Now, when I did my first coat earlier today to let it dry, after it dried, I took like a just a little sanding sponge and went over it, not to take any paint off, but just to smooth it down um, so that I wouldn't have any big like bumps where, I don't know, maybe where I went over it with the paint. So you see what I'm doing, right? I'm just outlining it. Trust me, there is nothing about this that um, is perfect. But it's gonna look really pretty and that's what we're going for. I have uh, the other side of this is completed so that I can show you how to do the lettering. And we're gonna get to that momentarily. I'm just going around the edges and then I'll come back in with a uh, bigger brush to fill it in. And as you can see, I'm not being perfect. I'm just kind of going with it the best that I can. You can see where I sanded there. I took a little bit off, which I didn't mean to. I think I was, I thought it was paint, but it was actually the, uh, the, the rise area of the globe. This is my little body of water here. Of all globes do, but this one's kind of cool because it spins around so it makes it real easy to get underneath. Hey, Donna's here. 
here. <laughs> Tracy's here. Oh my God. Hey ladies, my two favorite ladies are here. I'm gonna do gold leaf. I'm gonna do gold leaf. And the other color where the continents are, I'm gonna do gold leaf. What do you think of that? You could do a color though. You could do any color you want is for the continents. If you wanted to do white and black and gold letters or white and black and silver letters or red and purple and whatever color letters you wanna do. All right, let me get around here and then we'll fill it in real quick and I can get to the lettering for you. Oh, I hear Jake, here he comes. Whenever I'm doing a live video, he comes down, it's crazy. It's like he thinks he's part of the team or something. Donna, what about that Bon Jovi cruise? You in? <laughs> Although I would like the Aerosmith cruise. I mean, I would like, I would rather go to Vegas, but I would rather, I don't know, a cruise ship, John Bon Jovi? Hmm. You know how I feel about him. All right, so let's see how we're going. I gotta come up here a little bit. Ew, a little bit. I'm just going around real fast. I'm gonna get this part done. Or actually, what I could do, since you got that part down, is I could go over now to my finish side, ta-da! What do you think of that? That's where my lettering is going. So, I think you guys get the drill on that. Just paint around the continents. Don't worry if you miss something, rivers, whatever. Just go, nobody's gonna know. And if they do, they have way too much time on their hands. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do for the lettering is, I printed this little sign out. I like this font, I know it's backwards. And it says, I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. And Donna, you know, um, I think that's been Brooke's like, page forever, my daughter's cover page. So I have to do this saying. There's a lot of cool ones out there, but I have to do this one because it reminds me of her. So I'm gonna take this, and you can print out whatever kind of font you want on paper. If you go to like creativemarket.com on Mondays, they give away six fonts for free every week. Maybe not all fonts, but maybe three and three other things. Um, and that's where I got this font. This is called Blessing, this font. So what I'm gonna do is I have transfer paper. You can get this from Amazon, it's really cheap. It comes in black and white. So that if, you're, if your globe is black, get the white so you can trace it on. And if your globe's pink like mine, I'm gonna use the black. Now, I haven't tried this yet, so let's see how it goes. But I think me and Donna are gonna be crafting, um, <laughs> yes, Donna Super. I think we should, I think we should make uh, Jade's gift a uh, weekly project between us. Wine, roses, and a uh, floral wall, right? All right, so I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna um, kinda just eyeball this when I put it on. Try to get it as straight as possible. All right, so. This is hard to do. I just need to turn it for a second. So if I put this right about there, how does that look? I know you can't see it. Right about there. And I can move it around. We'll, we'll just go with this real quick. Let's get some tape. I'm gonna tape it on there. But I think it's gonna look good. Try to keep it somewhat straight. Okay. And 
centered. It's hard being your own production team. <laughs> right, Tracy? <laughs> you know. Put this one here. Why don't I why don't I do this? Make it easier. Tear the two pieces off. I think this one's gonna have to come up a little more. I have too much of a gap there. There we go. Haven't been everywhere. But it's eh, not straight. It's hard to do this straight because the globe's sideways. You seeing that? Okay. And the last one. And if it looks crooked, scream. <laughs> All right. How's that? We're going with it either way. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the transfer paper, it's like carbon paper basically. Put it under here. And I'm going to take my little pen. And you have to be careful because this really wants to move. And I'm just tracing it on. touch that up with paint. I went out of the line. Okay, let's see how that went. I can see it. Can you see it? Let's see. Can you see how it's traced on? And you'll be able to go right over that. Oh, you can't see it, Donna? Can you see it? <laughs> All right. So next, oh my God, holding this in place and trying to do this all at once is... I love this font, it's really pretty. I think we may have used this for Brittany's wedding sign. It's really easy to use this transfer paper when you're using like a on, a, on a flat surface that doesn't move, but it really isn't, it still isn't hard. It's just, I need to get a better grip of it. And then it looks like you have pretty handwriting. I have a silhouette, but I don't know. I just like doing my lettering. I like painting my lettering. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's on there. And if you were here, you would be able to see how easy it's going to be to paint over this. Because, oops, my globe's a little loose. I, I, I actually try to um, take it apart. Now I have to tighten it back up.
I'm going to use um, gold paint pens to do the lettering. I'm a little nervous about it. I really like to paint my, my lettering. Um, and I don't know how great the tip's going to be. So if I get into this and I don't like it, I'm going to go to paint. But we're going to give it a try. I tried it before and I wasn't exactly happy with it. Um, but we're going to give it a go on this one. Because, I mean, it's perfect for this project. You still staying? I'm so sorry. Let's hopefully it's more interesting when we get to uh, actually painting the lettering one. You can use this for signs too, if you want to do a sign for your house. You can use transfer paper for anything. And if you want to like glue or decoupage little flowers on here, and you don't have a lot of decorative papers around, like those of us who paint furniture do, um, you can use wrapping paper. Find a pretty wrapping paper. Can you see that? I'm hoping you can because it's, it's really showing up and you're gonna be able to see just exactly how to do your lettering. I just have to fix one thing. I had this piece of tape overlapping. Oh, no, it took my paint off. All right, that's okay, we're gonna fix that. I had a feeling that paint was going to do that. I was going to use my um, my good frog tape, and I was like, no. So I used this instead, and I pay the price. All right, we'll try to take it off a little easier. I'll touch that up. We'll just um, we'll just sand it, and then pop a little more over it. All right. So here's my lettering, which you can't see yet. Can you kind of see? See it a little bit? Hi, Mike Soper! <laughs> All right, yeah, I did have a little fail there, and we're going to fix that. Let me get my little sanding sponge right here. Just sand that, and then we'll just throw a little more paint over it. Oh, it wants to lift. You're not lifting. You're not going anywhere. Okay. So, our next phase, we would be doing the lettering, but i got to just pop some paint on here real quick. And it's going to take two coats. All right, so now we're gonna go to these gold pens that kind of scare me a little bit. I've got a skinny one and a fat one. And one of the things, I've used these before, you have to, like, I can't remember, there was something else that used to be like this years ago where you'd have to like, Push the tip down, hold the tip down, and then until the paint starts coming out, and that's how this is. So I think I got a good amount on there. So let's see what we have. I'm gonna kind of look at my letters too, because, uh, all right, so let's see how this works. Hmm, I think I want that letter thicker. What do you think? Let me get the thicker one. Just, you gotta like shake it up. And then push it down. See, it's like you gotta hold it down until the um, ink starts coming out. Let's see how we're doing. All right, let's try this lettering again. Okay, this one's a little bigger. It doesn't look 
like an eye to me, but I guess when we get the, can you see the eye? Let me push it down like this. I had like a, something stuck on the tip of it. So we're just going to fix that. So I'm just tracing over the uh, marks, the transfer paper left one. Uh, these really aren't the best. They kind of, and I'm wondering if I would have bought the more expensive ones, if it would have been better. I, I, I don't know. It was like 20 in a pack of these. And uh, they're just, they leave a lot to be desired. We're going to go with it. But when I finish, I can promise you I'll probably go over and um, paint over this. It's just the paint doesn't come out consistently. just taking more paint off so I would use gold paint and it's not as wide as I want it if you're using paint you have a lot more control over it Still going with it here, still going with it. Yeah, definitely don't use these. It'll look much better if you use, um, I'm gonna show you. I have lettering brushes that uh, work really well. This one, this one. Sorry, have to hold it down to get more um, paint out of it. But the lives will get better, I promise. Hey! <laughs> I love you, Mike. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. Are we going to Vegas or what? You know, I was just looking up um, fairs last night. If we go the first week in December, it's only a uh, four-star hotel. I can't remember the hotel right now. It's only like $1,200 a couple. I know you guys don't have time for it, but you might. You never know. We could go for like four days, right? I really want to paint this. I'm like so disappointed in this right now that it, it's the... Because it, it will work. I promise you, this does work with paint. I'm going to skip over that S because that's where the paint came off. I even think this might be out of paint now. So, not only are you getting a glow painting, you're getting a review on these darn paint pens. It isn't very good. Look, now it's like pouring out. All right. I'm really, really struggling with this. I promise you guys, it's not gonna look like this when it's done. 
Um, and I'm ho I hope you're getting the gist of it. Because what I'm gonna do is, um, this would have been so much easier to show you had I used paint. So I'm sorry that I didn't, it didn't look as easy as it is, but it really is easy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, you see my continents? You see how this side needs more paint on it. I'm gonna fill this paint in, and then I'm gonna come back here. And like I said, you would then take whatever um, color you want the continents to be. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I have this stuff you get from Amazon. It lasts forever, it's gold leaf. And I actually have gold leaf in gold and copper and silver, but I use a lot of gold leaf, so I get big packs of it. That This comes with 10 sheets, and it's more than enough to do so many things. Uh, it comes with two bottles. One is an adhesive, one is a sealer to seal it after you do it. And what you do is you just shake this up. I'm gonna take this little, little, little skinny. I got some of my old brushes, because this stuff is gonna harden my brushes. So I got some little teeny brushes here, and I'm gonna go around my continents and put on my gold leaf. And when it's done, because the gold leaf, this adhesive has to sit for um, 30 minutes before you can put the gold leaf on. Do you hear my dog? Um, what's that noise, Jake? Um, so, still going along. You guys, my friends watching me, you're so awesome. We're going to fill all this in. I'm not going to make you sit through it. I'm going to come back when the gold leaf's on and when I fix the lettering. So this is like my first live tutorial like this. <laughs> and I'm so glad you guys hung in there with me. It'll get better, I promise. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna fix the lettering and I'm gonna put the gold leaf one. And when I'm done, I'm going. <laughs> Dawn, we have to go. Oh, I know, we have to go in April. My God, it's gonna be so much fun. Can you imagine? Mike can go, Rob can go. I mean, it's gonna be a blast. Did you see all the activities they have? Um, okay, so we're talking about a cruise with John Bon Jovi. We're going. So I'm gonna let this dry for a half hour. I'm gonna put the gold leaf on. And in, in case you wanna use gold leaf, this is so easy. All you do is just um, put this adhesive on and let it sit. And then you just take the gold leaf and just hold it over there and just like go like that and flake the ends off. It makes a mess, but I think it's gonna look really cool. Pink and gold. I'm actually doing two dressers right now in pink and gold. So maybe that's why I'm just kind of in that pink and gold mood. So I'll be back. I'm gonna post my pictures and, oh yeah, it is, it is girls only, isn't it? <laughs> Did you see, it looks like they were doing the, um, the crazy bat drinking game. <laughs> Did you see that on the picture? Um, yeah, so I'm going to post it when it's done. Donna, Tracy, Mike, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me with this video. I really appreciate it. It was a struggle. It's going to get better, I promise. And um, I'll post it when it's done. Love you all.